Hi, it's Pastor Anderson of the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, located at 9621 Six Forks Road, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27615, exit number 11 of 540. Visit us at thefountainofraleigh.org. And always remember, we believe this is where God's blessings never stop flowing. Please look with me again into God's word, the gospel according to St. John, the 20th chapter, uh, verses number uh, 26 and uh, 27. These powerful words. Eight days later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. I want to talk to you today. Believe. It is so amazing. Now, remember, the disciples were gathered. Jesus walked into the room. Thomas was missing. And then Thomas says to them, I need to see it for myself. Now it is eight days since the resurrection. Thomas is in the room with the rest of the disciples. Jesus walks in. And can you just imagine what Thomas' face was like? He says that now two things happen. I see it for myself and now I really feel included. Isn't it amazing that sometimes when you and I are not in the place where things happen, we don't feel included and we feel we've missed something. And then when the same thing almost identically happens again, we see it with ourselves and we actually get a chance to touch the moment and the moment touches us, we become empowered. Notice it says that it is so powerful. Thomas words were heard by Jesus, even though Jesus was not there when Thomas said it. That tells us something about the omniscience of God. God knows it all. He knew what was in Thomas' heart. And I believe God knows what's in your heart and my heart. That means we know that we can't hide anything from God. We can't say anything that God does not hear. So regardless of your circumstance or situation, whatever that prayer is, God hears it right now. In the situation, God allows Thomas to actually reach out and touch him. It is then that the contact brings the moment for Thomas. Thomas says, I I've seen it, I've heard it, I've touched him, and now I fully believe. And that becomes powerful to all of us because he says, don't be faithless any longer. Some of us have become faithless. We become skeptical, but we cannot be that way because God is about to show up in your situation. You just have to realize he's waiting for his divine moment. So let's look for the divine moment on this worshipful Wednesday. Let's worship God and tell him thank you for what he's done in our lives. And may God bless you and may you worship him with the power that he gives to us and that is his spirit. Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We encourage you to please remember to sow a seed. We sow seeds in more ways than one. We can tangibly sow a seed into this ministry by going to thefountainofraleigh.org and click at the donate button. It is from there you can safely and securely give through PayPal or else you may use the Tithely app. We thank you so very much for your generous support in times past and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you.